Alright guys, welcome back to JForce Gaming and today I'm going to show you the safest and the quickest way you guys can spoof your location so that you guys can be at anywhere you want to be at the comfort of your own home and it's completely safe and reliable and you don't even need to jailbreak or root your phone at all. How am I supposed to do that? Well, it is with the help of this software right here, alright? So this is the Mock Pogo, alright? Location changer, and this thing is really, really awesome, alright? I personally use this all the time, alright, to spoof my location, either on in games that requires me to be at a physical location, but sometimes I'm just too lazy to be there, alright? So with this, I can just, you know, change my location on my phone, alright, at the comfort of my own home, and sometimes I just want to change it, alright, to protect my own privacy as well, alright? And this thing works on both Android and iOS, which today I will be demonstrating on Android itself, but um, the, the functionalities and everything will be very similar on iOS as well. Alright, so right now I'm going to just show you guys the software itself, what you guys can do on this. Alright, and um, yeah, show you different kind of features and the things that it has in this uh, software itself. Alright, and this only not only limited to PC as well, they also have the uh, mobile app version they have for the iOS version and the Android version as well. So if you want to use the app itself, you also can. But um, but for me, I'll be just be using PC because the screen is bigger and easier to demonstrate for you guys to see. All right, so right now, uh, let me just go ahead and show you guys the software itself. Let's go. All right, so you guys can see this is the software itself. All right, and uh, yeah, you guys can connect between iOS and Android. All right, but for me, I'll just be demonstrating on Android. So I'll just click on Android, and you guys can see my phone has been um, detected. So let me just open up Google Maps on my phone itself. All right, as you guys can see right now, all right, I'm at my home. All right, and um, yeah, so I've connected my phone to it. Okay, so let me just click on next. All right, and they have different kinds of modes for you to choose from. So if you're playing this, um, you know, like Pokemon Go or Monster Hunter World or these kind of games, all right, you guys can choose um, this specific one because they have some features specifically for the game itself. So it's really, really cool. All right, so, um, but for me, I will just be using the social mode, which I'll demonstrate. So social mode can be used on like Bumble, Snapchat, all right, Tinder, or you can use it on like, Google Maps or any Live 360 tracking apps you want, or it will be social mode. So I'll be demonstrating on social mode. All right, so um, yeah, it's going to take a while. All right, they will install an app that you you run in the background. Don't worry, it's hundred percent safe. All right, so right now you guys can see I'm over here. So uh, how, what am I gonna do right now is let me just show you guys the first mode. All right, let me just make it bigger for you guys to see. Okay, so uh, let me just show you guys the first mode, which is called the teleport mode, which is pretty much self-explanatory. All right, I just need to click on wherever I want. You guys can see this location right over here. All right, they will show you the coordinate, the distance. All right, and you can favor see as well. So um, yeah, if you're okay with it, just click on go. All right, and I will teleport to here. And on my map itself, you guys can see, all right, I am teleported over here, which is really, really cool. All right, as you guys can see, then if I want to be like somewhere inside the reservoir here, I want to be in the water, I just click on it. All right, and I'm teleported inside the water on my Google Maps. So yeah, you can teleport anywhere you want. All right, and it's not only limited to your country. All right, you can, you can scroll the way out. You can teleport to like probably, I just want to be in the United States. All right, let's click on that. And if I go to my GPS, you guys can see I'm in United States right now. So I'm in, uh, which state am I in? Um, I have no idea where I'm in. Okay, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm around here, these states. Alright, so yeah, you can be in the United States as well. You can be anywhere you want in the world. You can be in Australia as well. Alright, if I show you up, I'm in Australia right now. So yeah, you can be anywhere you want in the world. So, um, yeah, it's basically, this does not limit you to Singapore, to, to your home country, alright? So, because my home country is Singapore, so well, I'll be demonstrating in Singapore as well. Okay, so let's go on to the next one. This one is the two spot mode. What does this do? Let me just show you guys real quick. So right now I'm just probably want to go to this area over here in the middle here. I just need to click on that. All right. Okay. All right. And uh, yeah, below here you can select the speed, which I'm gonna talk about it later on. So I'm just gonna click on that. All right. So you can see the two spot mode, the distance. All right. You can select. From point A to B, back to A, or A to B, and then A to B again. Okay, loop how many times, and you can have a realistic mode. So basically, the speed will varies. The speed is the one below here. You guys can see. All right, it will varies 
So um, if you do not do the realistic mode, it will just be a fixed speed. All right, let's put a car. All right. And if you guys see this, all right, what is right over here is an actual route that is being created. Do you guys see that? All right. If you guys see the blue line, let me zoom out for you guys to see. All right, you can see the blue line over here. Yeah, it is an actual route that being planned for you. So this is the endpoint, and they will plan an actual route. So on Google Maps, or if someone is tracking you on Live 360, all right, it looks like you know you are either you're driving or you're heading there. So it's really really cool, and it's it makes it very realistic. And on my Google Maps itself, you guys can see, all right, I'm also moving in the same direction as you know, as this thing is moving. So yeah, you guys can see, all right, I'm moving right here. Right on the Google Maps, it is also moving, so it's pretty pretty cool. All right, if you guys want to make it like more realistic that you're, you know you're heading there and such. All right, so uh, right now I'm gonna just pause. Right, I'm gonna just quit this mode. All right, let me just go ahead and show you the multi spot mode. So the multi spot mode is very similar to the two spot mode. All right, except you can have multiple points. So what do I mean by that? All right, you can have, you can click. You can see, you can see, I can click as many points as I want. There is no limit to how many places you want to go. All right, and if you click on go, they also come out the same thing. All right, and this one you can choose, um, you know, loop, loop, uh, same, okay, and everything is the same. But the only difference with this is, okay, it goes in a straight line. So if I go, all right, you guys can see, there won't be any direction. So it will just go in a straight line. All right, just cut through the buildings. You guys can see. Right, right now I'm cutting through the building. Alright, so you will just cut through the building and uh yeah you'll just cut through all the way until it hits until it reaches the first end point. Alright, and then after that you'll go to the second point, third point, fourth point, and end off at the last point. So yeah, so you can have multiple locations. So if you want to see different lo multiple locations, alright, um you have places to visit, alright, you guys can add add, add this is free it's pretty pretty um, useful and really helpful so you don't have to like then teleport 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 to one location you can just add all at once all right so right now i'm gonna just pause them for now all right okay let's quit let's go on to the joystick mode so the joystick mode i think is also quite self-explanatory all right if you guys seen uh, on the bottom left you guys can see this thing over here all right so if i click on play all right you guys can see i can move this Alright, so it will go in any direction the the joystick is moving in. So you have self control over it, so you can control all yourself. So you don't have to worry about you know it going in the wrong direction. You can choose the direction you like. And the best part about this, you can also use your arrow keys to control. As you guys can hear, I'm using my arrow keys to control left and right. So yeah, you can use this as well to controls. So uh, really quick, cool. And well, my Google Maps is also following wherever I'm facing. Alright, and uh, yeah, you can select the speed you want it to move at, so now you will move slower, at slower pace, so the speed you can always adjust on the spot. So I'm going to stop here, alright. Then, this one will be the jump teleport mode. So, um, yeah, you click on this, click on this, alright. And you guys can see, this one is pretty much similar to the teleport mode, but as this one has a you know, cooldown to make it more realistic if you want to, alright, but... uh. But yeah, you will just teleport instantly. You will just jump and teleport. Okay, but you can have multiple spot mode. So this one is the similar to the teleport, but instead of moving, all right, you just teleport. You will just move to one one spot to one spot. Oops, my go maps. All right, so if yep, okay, you can go to next spot, next spot. You can see on my go maps, it's also teleporting. So yeah, you can have. So instead of like you know adding one spot at one spot at a time, teleport here, teleport there, you can just add all at once and just teleport to different location once you're done with one location. So this is pretty this is this is also super convenient for you. Alright, we also have this import GPX file and the historical record. Alright, historical record is just why you have, where have you been to the routes that you have taken, you click on go, alright, you will have back um you know the all the spot that you have previously selected so if you want to go back to the last spot that you've been to all right you guys can also uh, click that they also have a memory function as well okay 
Uh, this, this GPX mode is because you can import files if your friends export this route or this specific route or the specific locations. All right, they can export it to you. You can import it. All right, you can have their own, they have the same exact route. Or you can export it and save it. Next time you want to come back again, you can just import again. This is really really helpful. All right, and but sometimes if you like, you know, you can. I've been demonstrating on the map. You know, choosing the spot, choosing the spot. But what if you? know the location but you don't know where is it on the map well here comes the easy part where you guys can just search it out so for example if i want to go to changi airport all right all right they will come out with a few you can see terminal one so i can just click on that all right and click on search and it's over here you can, you can see changi airport okay and you can, I can just like teleport there but i'm not gonna do that but yeah you can search out so if you know the address or the postal code all right, even postal code works also. All right, you guys can see, there we go. All right, uh, where is it? Ah, it's right over here. And, uh, all right, yep, so if you know the postal code, you can do that as well. Or if you know the coordinates, the longitude and latitude, you can also do that as well. So you see it's very, very convenient. So if you know the location, you can, you, instead of like finding it on the map one by one, like, you know, scrolling in, where is it, where is it? Just search for the location. It's very, very simple. All right, and over here, all right, you guys can see all my here. This all these all buttons over here. Uh, all this, can you see? Yep. All right, all this is basically you guys can um, if you guys using playing like some Pokemon Go, or whatever you guys can use all this. All right, you guys can uh, like it, refresh it, and this thing also support multiple devices as well. So you guys can have connect multiple devices together and control them. So it's really really awesome. So you guys can don't need to like. You know, you can have multiple devices all together. You can add multiple devices. All right, and you can zoom in, zoom out, set to your current location. So, so the one thing you might be worried about is, you know, I've been spoofing around. My GPS now is like, you know, haywire already, right? Then you might be worried that, you know, um, wait, let me just turn it off. All right, you might be worried that if you want to use your phone to navigate in actual, in real life, all right, you scared your GPS might be, you know, um, might have some issues. Do not worry about that. All right. So the very simple thing is, I right, think right now my GPS is spoofed. All I have to do is just to close this software itself. Just close the program. All right. And you guys can see. All right, my GPS has been reset back to my current coordinate. So this is where I am right now. You can see. All right. Let's take, give some time. All right. This is where I am. You can see in my home. All right. So yeah. So once you quit the software itself, your, go, your GPS will go back to its normal position. So no matter how I rotate my phone, you guys can see. All right, the GPS also follows the rotation. So, you know, um, yeah, so you can use your GPS as per normal. So if you want to spoof again, just open the software and your GPS can be spoofed again. So it is that simple and it's really, really safe to do so. All right, so, um, so yeah, this is the demonstration itself. Yeah, so there's one thing I forgot to mention is that uh, this software can also, all right, spoof the location to change the location on your maps all right um via wi-fi so you can use it wirelessly without the need of cable but unfortunately this method only works on ios devices so if you're using android you have to use a cable all right but if you're using ios there is this option where you can use it wirelessly so you know that's another additional really awesome feature that you guys can check it out all right so yeah once again if you guys to check out this all right location spoofer all right guys can check out the first link in the video description down below and go ahead and get this for yourself if you want to get this now is the best time to get this because they have this promotion right now where you buy one get three free yes you heard that right so basically if you buy the ios version you guys can get the windows the mac and the android version for completely free as well so you can use it on all other devices all right and what's even better right now if you use the promo code mock pg pro all right and apply it during checkout, you guys can get an additional 20% off, which is a huge saving to get it right now. So don't miss out on this opportunity. All right, I'll link all the links in the video description down below for you guys to go and check it out and get this promotion right now. All right, and trust me, I've been using this for a long time. And until now, all the time when I need to spoof it, I will just spoof it. And when I'm not using it, all right, I don't have any issues with my GPS. My GPS will perfectly fine. I don't have any issues with my phone. All right, and all the games, all the apps still works without getting banned. And it's just 
really really amazing and super reliable i don't have faced any issues with it at all all right and yeah like i said it's totally safe so you guys can go ahead and check it out all right and go ahead and download it all right so you guys want to check out once again if you guys want to check out this mock pogo location changer you guys can check out the first link in the video given down below and go ahead and start spoofing your device right now so that's all that guys if you find today's video really interesting and really helpful do give it a thumbs up and without further ado this is jforce gaming and i shall see you guys in my next video peace out I don't wanna cry.